You want to make music for the soul? You want to record like the pros? You want to mix to make hits? Then you come to the right channel. This is phase three on how to plan your album from start to finish right after this. What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Jay Wayne, represent music for the soul. And this is the last phase, phase four, to completing your entire album from start to finish. And if you happen to miss phase one and phase two, the video links will be in the description below. Check those videos out so you can catch up. But this is phase four, and phase four starts out with getting your music onto the online stores, um, iTunes, Amazon, um, different, di all the different stores. You want to plan far in advance. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this series so you can plan way far in advance because once you put it on iTunes, once it's on Amazon and Google Play, it's out of your control if there's any hang up. If there's any delay, it's out of your control, unfortunately. So, so the earlier you have it in those stores, the better it is for you. And you can set the release date way far in advance. Step two is getting your music onto Grace Note and All Music. Grace Note is more good for, or mo more known for Mac OS, and All Music is good for Windows, PC computers. But what it is, is the computer search for a database. And it, and it looks for your song info, your album info, and it pulls it from a database. Not, not just from your CD that you tagged, but from a database. And so you want to make sure whoever grabbed your CD, whoever downloaded, whatever, that your information is uploaded to those um, Grace Note or All Music, which is the largest um, databases. And, and that way your stuff pulls up. You know, that's the professional way you want to look professional across the board at all times. So that's why I say do that. Now, keep in mind, if you sign up with TuneCore, if you sign up with um, uh, CD Baby, Reverb Nation, some, you know, most of the time they do it for you. But you want to make sure that it's done. You want to make sure that everything is in place. You know, you don't want no loose ends. The next step is legal. Once your album is released, you will have all the information you need to register your album. And you, and you should do that through the U.S. Copyright Office. That way you will have third party um, proof that your album is registered. Um, the sound recordings and the recordings and the artwork, the, the lyrics, you want to make sure all that stuff is copywritten. Um, a, lot of, a lot of independent artists, artists overlook this part. They skip it. They think they don't need it, but skip all that. We trying to go to the next level. I'm trying to help you go to the next level. You want to make sure your foundation is firm and in place. Because when you do blow up, when you do catch fire, and when the world catch wind of what you're doing, you want to make sure you got all your business in place. You can't just worry about recording in the, in the studio, getting the mix done, getting the master done, and putting it out there on social media. You got to make sure your business is taken care of. First, this is the music business. You can't forget about the business side of it. And so if the rest of them don't want to copyright their stuff, if the rest of them don't want to go through BMI and ASCAP and make sure they get the, the uh, performance royalties to get their money, then let them do them. But we going to the next level. We making sure our foundation is plant firm. So like I was saying, once you go through the U.S. Copyright Office, you want to make sure you go through BMI and ASCAP because they're going to get the performance royalties for you and make sure you get the cash. Make sure you get your checks. Make sure you get your checks. Make sure you get your checks. So this is the end of phase three. We completed it. Um, we made it happen. I'm, I hope these video series, phase one, two, and three, were informative for you. Um, I hope it helped you. The good thing about it is you can always go back and rewatch them and keep learning. Um, again, I kind of flew through the steps and I didn't have enough time to go into detail. The videos was already eight to 10 minutes long anyway. 
without going into great detail on each principle on each step right so if you have any questions on each step if you're going through them one by one and you get hung up comment below ask me a question I'm always checking my comments I'm always uh, chopping it up with y'all because that's what I love to do um, you can also email me at make music for the soul at gmail.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have um, we can chop it up we can talk about it we can discuss it we can figure out your goals and your plans right be looking out for new videos be looking out for how to mix master and record um, we record like the pros over here we make our sound sound big we make music for the soul so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and let's make this music baby